Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for past love, someone you have history with. So just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot, just so you're aware. But before we get into the reading today, I wanted to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Spirit Seeker Tarot. So Spirit Seeker Tarot has all kinds of videos for free on her YouTube channel that you can go check out. There are tarot readings for each of the signs. There are pick a cards. There are energy healing videos that you can access. There's all signs, all kinds of videos. Um, you can also go to her webpage, Spirit Seeker Tarot, and check out her services on there. There's intuitive and psychic readings, energy and healing services. So make sure you go and check out her YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so let's see. How does this past person feel about Capricorn spirit? Okay, wow. Right away we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the World. Okay, so right away Capricorn, I'm getting this energy of someone here feels like you're loving yourself you're putting yourself first and they don't see this as a bad thing but they feel like part of that has been that you've had to move away from this situation you've had to like mentally you know not engage anymore you've had to stop maybe answering you've had to stop replying in the same way um someone here sees you as very loving very kind very compassionate and you're just like kind of keeping your own peace here i feel like this person has a lot of feelings for you capricorn but they almost feel like they're going to like disturb your peace if they come back around so i don't know if like the last conversation you had or what the relationship is like at this point remember i do love readings and love can be romantic it can be friendships it can be family um it feels like someone someone feels like they would be disturbing your peace like i'm seeing someone i don't know why but i'm seeing someone walk on pieces of glass and every time they step that it's cracking more and more it's like a very fragile situation so it's like someone has a lot of love for you but they also feel like they're very understanding that you're loving yourself and putting yourself first and part of that is not engaging in certain situations anymore so um tell me about the six of swords the four of pentacles you just kind of like keep to yourself i feel capricorn three of pentacles yeah you look at situations like if it's not serving me or if situations are not you know making me feel better or working together with me if someone's not going to be like a teammate or you know try then you just kind of remove yourself from the situation i feel like this person has a desire to try with you but they almost feel like it might be too little too late um is what i'm getting here this person feels like you might have even said something like, I'm done. Like, this is the last time. I'm not going to repeat this cycle with you anymore. Or just in general. Um, I'm seeing the King of Cups at the bottom. Yeah, I feel like someone does have a lot of love for you. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. The Page of Cups. Somebody wants to apologize. I feel like somebody here um, is seeing things from a different perspective here. I feel like there's something about your energy like missing so even if you're still in contact with this person capricorn it's like it's not the same way as it was before something has shifted and this person can feel it even if they're not saying it if they're not saying i miss you or it just it doesn't feel the same between us or whatever it might be or maybe they have this person wants to apologize because they feel like they they're realizing how um 
rare and powerful your energy is because the queen of cups is the first card out like this this is like the queen of love that's how this person views you tell me about this page of cups we got the three of swords and the two of pentacles does this person want to apologize and i see the devil at the bottom and the ten of swords behind that does this person want to apologize for putting you in a third party situation if if and you know third party can be another romantic partner it can be that they chose family or friends or work over you they were just juggling in some way i feel like this person it's almost like they kind of broke their own heart here because again it's like they didn't appreciate your energy when they had it and now that it's missing or it's just not in their life the same way anymore this person's like damn like i really messed up here i need to apologize i always say with the page of cups though capricorn that i feel like it's an apology that doesn't necessarily like match what happened now i'm not here to tell you what kind of apologies to accept or to not but it's almost like this person they're kind of counting on your big heart as well so that if they do come back and apologize it's like they don't have to like come back begging on their knees or anything like that because you'd, you'd be the type to be like, come on, get up. Like, it's fine. Let's just move on. Like they're kind of counting on that a little bit too. So just be aware of that. Um, but I do feel like this person is very sad as well. I feel like this person, I mean, maybe they feel like you chose someone else or some other situation or just yourself over them, right? You, you stopped putting them always first. And I feel like this person, again, it's just like I, they didn't appreciate you when they had you is what I'm getting. Like it just, there, there was just, there's just this energy of like, it's almost like the five of cups, like regret here. Yeah, which is like not far behind this devil card at the bottom. Like, um, just so you can see there, Capricorn. Um, but yeah, it just feels like this person didn't, they took advantage of, of what you offered, I feel. And so they're kind of sitting here heartbroken and feeling like, you know, they didn't prioritize the right things. They didn't prioritize you in the right way. They didn't appreciate your energy the way that they should have. Um, so this person wants to apologize, but let's see. So they could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a little bit of water here too, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. What is this person's next actions towards Capricorn in the next two to four weeks? Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Three of Wands. The star, Aquarius energy, the three of cups. We're getting three, you get three, three, three here. Um, oh, you have all the threes out. Three, <laughs> three of swords, three of wands, three of cups, three of pentacles. So there definitely could have been some other energy involved here. Just like it, all the time, it just wasn't always the two of you. Like whether this person's friends were always around or family or whatever, like I was saying. I mean, this person wants, there's sort of, I don't know if there's an event coming up that you're both going to be at, if you have mutual friends or something like that, but this person's hopeful that there can be some sort of get together, even if it's just like over the holidays, um, that, and obviously that's longer than two to four weeks here. Well, I guess it depends where you live, um, where I live, but they're kind of hopeful that there can be some sort of get together here where, where the two of you can like make up, um, tell me more. Like they're hopeful here. They're hopeful that this isn't the end, that the two of you can figure this out. We got the six of wands and we got the 10 of wands. Interesting. Ace of pentacles, yep. Yeah. And justice, yeah. Okay, Libra energy. So someone here definitely wants to, I kind of feel like their pride and ego is in the way a little bit here. It's really hard for this person to kind of admit when they're wrong. But I do feel like there's going to be some sort of conversation here. This person wants um, to set the record straight with you. Feel like they have some sort of truth to reveal here. Like they are kind of like owning up a little bit. But at the same time, it kind of feels like this person's way of saying sorry might be, hey, let me take you to dinner or let me buy you that nice thing or, you know, finally take you where that, that place you wanted to go which is nice, but it doesn't feel like, again, like I feel like you're still going to be sitting there kind of like, okay, but what about everything that happened? Right? So I feel like this person feels like th there's just something about there's finally going to be an opportunity where they can reach out to you here and they can let you know they want this fresh start. I don't know if it's, again, at an, maybe it's like a wedding or something like that that you're both going to be at. Um, 
it feels like they kind of anticipate that you're going to be somewhere and they that's when they want to come in with this sort of fresh start here with this ace of pentacles but i feel like this person's sort of pride gets in the way in the sense that with the ten of wands here it's like they they want to apologize and set the record straight but they don't want to talk about everything is what i get tell me about the ace of pentacles because this is this like new offer yeah nine of swords this person's really nervous about this and they also can't stop thinking about this i feel like this person like dreams about this i feel like they have nightmares about this i feel like um they wake up in the middle of the night thinking about you in this situation and how they're gonna fix this I feel like there's part of them that doesn't really know what to do. So this might be someone who goes and like buys you a really nice gift and is like here, like that's sort of their way of saying sorry. Like they don't really know how else to say sorry. Um, this isn't someone who sits down and has like deep heartfelt conversations all the time. And although they, they might have done that with you in the past, I feel like it's what they're not trying to do right now. Um, but they're definitely coming back with an offer here. But let's see their true intentions towards you Capricorn what is this person's true intentions with Capricorn what do they really really want we have the page of swords we have that justice card again Libra energy we have the three of pentacles I mean I feel like they do want to work together here with you um oof. We got the sun and we got the nine of cups. Yeah, so someone, you know, tell me about this page of swords first. Seven of swords. This person wants to make sure that you're not hiding anything from them either, um, is what I'm getting here, Capricorn. So I feel like this is someone who's kind of doing their research, trying to see if, I don't know what the time frame has been that the two of you have not been together here, but I feel like they're trying to make sure that there's nothing that they're missing out of this conversation here or like the situation like they so say if this is like an ex they want to make sure you're not seeing anyone or something like that um but again like i do feel like there's this energy here where this person wants to like be more balanced with you they want to things to be good they they don't want it to be the way it has been because i feel like it got to the point where again you were just like i have to go like i can't um do this anymore i have to just for my own mental health i have to sort of remove myself but i feel like this person you know they, they feel like they could be really happy here with you i feel like at one point the two of you could have both felt like this right like i feel like this person does want to make you happy i feel like they feel very fulfilled with you they feel like you're sort of like this light again with the queen of cups being the first card out for how they feel about you i feel like this is someone who sees you as someone with really great energy you're very positive and this person wants to sort of let you know that they appreciate this about you and they want to work together here. They want to make this work, whatever that looks like. Um, tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles wanted to come out. And look at that, the Queen of Cups again. So again, like this is someone who's like, they know they have to put in just as much as you're putting in. They can't, like this is what they intend. Like they intend to sort of love you the way you've loved them, right? This is someone who, uh, even with this, I've never sort of pointed this out before, but how this queen has her hands just up. It's like this person almost just wants to surrender. They, they know how they feel about you. So it's like, I'm just gonna surrender to it instead of trying to fight it or, you know, um, juggling or not prioritizing it's like i know what i want and i want capricorn like that's how it feels um is there anything else with that page of swords seven of swords ace of cups so they just want to be sure about this new beginning again i f i don't know if they think you have someone else in your life they're trying to make sure that that's not the case but also like they want this new beginning with you they want a fresh start we have two aces on the board and this is the past right this is someone who wants to start over um they want to open up their heart i feel like this is someone who could have sort of resisted the connection a little bit but is really trying not to do that what's the potential outcome with capricorn and this person Oof, we got the lovers i just got chills gemini energy we did get the devil capricorn energy we got the Ten of Cups, wow. Tell me about that devil. Six, so it's the ego. It's ego and pride here. So I feel like, 
again, it's coming through quite strong. This, this person might have trouble with admitting when they're wrong. It's like they know they're wrong and they're showing you that they're wrong and they're apologizing for being wrong, but they're not always saying it. Like, I feel like there's something about this person's ego. I feel like this person could also be like very much into their, their looks. They could be very um, like on top of their looks. Maybe they're um, always at the gym or always, you know, grooming themselves or something like that. But I mean, we got the Ten of Cups, the lovers here. I feel like there is a very strong bond between the two of you here. I feel like there's a pull. You both can't really explain this person feels like they can have their happily ever after here with you. I mean, the lovers used to be called the choice. Capricorn, so you might feel like you have a choice to make. Like, if you're going to be with this person, you kind of have to accept all of them. So if it really, say, bothers you, for instance, that this person... Um, I, I just keep getting this energy, like, they... Like, maybe this person, like, looks in the mirror a lot or is, like, checking themselves out a lot. Um, it's like you, you kind of have to accept all of them if it's, if it's going to work, right? Anything else about that devil... The king, you can, the king of wands, I'm telling you, I feel like this person is sort of like, are they, are they really about appearance or something like that? Or um, I feel like it stems from an insecurity though with this devil card. I feel like it's someone who's very charming, very charismatic, like good looking even. It doesn't have to be a male just because the king of wands came out. But I feel like it's a bit like, can come off a little bit vain at times. But I mean... This is really good energy. I just feel like this is like an insecurity this person has here. There's something about their looks or like their ego kind of gets in the way a little bit. But I mean, if it's worth it, it's worth it, um, Capricorn. So we have Gemini, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. How will Capricorn know who this is? I mean, it looks like this is really good with this person, like, as far as the potential outcome. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. Is this someone who has, like, fear of abandonment? I'm seeing the Ten of Swords at the bottom. Is this someone who's been, like, left out in the cold before, and so they're afraid you're going to do that to them? Um... I feel like this, how you might know who this person is, is honestly, they might have made you feel like you weren't an, you were just an option, sorry, you weren't a priority. Um, you could have felt confused by this person before. I mean, again, I'm not here to tell you if this is the right connection for you or not. I do see that there's potential for a lot of happiness between the two of you, but there is, like, it's not perfect, right? I mean, what relationship is? Tell me more about who this person is. The three of wands, the eight of pentacles. Um, I kind of get this energy where it's like, I mean, I, f I do get this energy where this person could have said maybe for a, a while, like they wanted to work on it, but didn't actually. I feel like the time is now. I do feel like this person wants to work on it with you. And that might be hard to trust. Right, Capricorn, especially if this person made empty promises before. Um, relationships are complicated, right? It can be so easy from the outside to say, well, if they were confusing before, just cut them off. Like, that's that's it. But, I mean, when you have this kind of energy between the two of you, the lovers, the ten of cups, it's not so black and white. It's not so easy, right? I do feel like this person wants to work on it. This could be a work situation as well. Any advice for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Three of Cups. Just try to enjoy, I feel. Um, we have the Eight of Cups. Tell me more. We have Strength, Leo Energy. And we have the Empress, Taurus, Libra Energy. I feel like what this is, is, um, again, remember what serves you and what doesn't with this Eight of Cups, Three of Cups. Um, if this person is still, say, attached to a group of people or setting or whatever that just, like, makes you feel really not good, um, you might just have to, like, set a boundary around that. Remember your worth here with the, I love when the Empress comes out as, as advice because it doesn't mean you have to be a female Capricorn, but it's just speaking to that 
feminine divine feminine energy right like sit back and let things come to you right you know um tap into your inner strength your inner beauty your inner abundance because i feel like things will just flow to you allow this person to put in the work right if you were the one that was always putting in the work always calling always texting always making plans always what have you sit back step into this empress energy and let this person do it right because i feel like they are realizing they need to step up uh, whether you give them that chance or not is totally up to you but they are realizing it so let's see messages for capricorn any messages thank you we got vacation you will be traveling soon so perhaps you have travel plans or this person does could be confirmation this is your reading cycles fate karma something ending something beginning so the world card did come out which can represent that those cycles right um something coming to an end completion so i feel like this person you know um wants a new cycle to begin here with you right like the old cycle ending and a new one beginning they're hopeful here with that star card they want to they want things to be better but i i feel like it's kind of just up to you at this point capricorn we did get spy someone's got their eye on you you were doing your research so yeah i do feel like they're trying to make sure that you're on the same page as them as well we did get give it time everything in divine timing let things flow and we did get date night get ready to be wined and dined so i mean this person could be coming in to wine and dine you capricorn let's see messages for capricorn okay right away i have lost faith in you and cannot see a future with you anymore perhaps this is how you felt even to capricorn with this person after everything they did um, maybe they said that even um, I want to be more than friends because I feel like there's like this back and forth with that two of pentacles maybe this person went back and forth with you I don't know if I want commitment or I don't know if I want to be your friend or have you in my life or whatever it might be and now they they definitely do um, but that back and forth could have been like too much for you like I'm not trying to be with someone who is juggling I am afraid to contact you. Mm -hmm. I wish things could be different. I am keeping secrets from you and I hope you don't find out. I will pull a card on that. I knew I was losing you, but I didn't do anything to fight for you. You see, it's like they kind of like just thought it was just going to be okay because of your big heart. Like they didn't really think it was going to end up the way it did. And now they're realizing, oh, wow, like I lost out on something really good. I remember every detail of that day. This connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting. Whenever this card comes out, Capricorn, I always see it as someone who's like addicted to chaos, addicted to dysfunction, addicted to yelling and um, ups and downs and anxiety. And I say addicted because I feel, well, Dr. Nicole LaPera talks a lot about this. Um, I'll post a link for you. But if someone is used to chaos and conflict since childhood, they sort of subconsciously seek out these types of relationships. And then when they find something that's much calmer, Queen of Cups, much more level-headed, much more loving, it's almost like their brain is seeking out that, that up and down that they're used to. Um, so that's how I see it. That's how I see that card. Um, I feel unworthy of having love in my life. I feel miserable and lost. I was afraid that you would reject me if I shared my feelings to you. So you see, like, this is someone who has those strong feelings, but they're afraid of rejection, of abandonment. I regret lying to you. Messages for Capricorn. I cannot support your actions. It's too much for me to deal with. Again, I feel like this could be even you to them. Um, we are living two separate lives for some of you there. Let me just pull on I'm Keeping Secrets. What is I'm Keeping Secrets, please? Six of Pentacles. They're just giving to other situations, maybe that you're aware of or not aware of. Um, oof, we did get the devil. Is this like a gambling thing or a money thing? Um, again, it could be this person attention-seeking here with the devil card. Um... Tell me more about the devil. Judgment. Page of Wands. It, 
you know, it could be that this, the secret is that this person is just ready to reach out to you. I, honestly, it could be that they're giving to other situations here, um, that they're sort of showing interest and curiosity and so in other things. We did get the seven of cups for who they are. Again, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I know there is a very strong bond between the two of you and it looks like eventually it can just be the two of you. But if you know this person to be constantly with other people or what have you, I mean, I don't condone anyone waiting around to be chosen, right? So use your intuition, use your discretion here. This, I feel like this person just likes attention, to be honest. Um, we did get within the next few months. So I was saying, like, I feel like there could be some sort of event that you both might be at. Um, and the holidays are coming up. So, um, and then we got success. I love that. I said one more. Oh, two more. We did get a year from now, which obviously, you know, we can sit here and say a year from now is so long. Like, that's way too long. But it could speak to the place that the two of you could be at a year from now. And this is just an obstacle to overcome. Um, only take that if it resonates. And then we have meditation brings answers. So let's see, messages for Capricorn. We got trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. And balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So whatever brings you balance and peace, do it. And trust that spirit is guiding you towards your better, bettering yourself. Did one flip here? That one did, I guess not. Messages for Capricorn. Thank you. A win-win outcome is forecast. Libra energy. So I honestly feel like no matter what you choose here, um, because I do feel like it's in your hands here, Capricorn, that it's a win-win for you, no matter what. Um, we got, and then look at that. We got blessed as I was saying that. It's a win-win, no matter what. Um, and then we got chop wood. And I see the fates at the bottom. So let's see. Okay. Blessed says... You are moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know you are meant to make this connection. This union, blessed by the divine, will bring transformation and beauty to the world. This is also a sign that even more important, you're being called to a deeper intimacy with yourself and with spirit. With this new development, you will see evidence of grace in your life. Beautiful. The essential meaning is something wonderful that is unearned and unexpected. Grace that it is an unforeseen gift from spirit. So you are blessed. Write that in the comments, Capricorn. I am blessed, right? Put it out to the universe. And then you also got chop wood, which is 42. Which says, nothing is as important right now as just doing what you need to do day to day. Let your heart remember that not everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. That is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, say nothing, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. So, yeah. Overall, it feels okay with this person. Like, it feels like, again, like, there is a lot of good potential here. But, um, you know, I always see comments like, I would never give this person another chance no matter what. You know, they did this or they did that. And I completely understand everyone's journey is different. Again, I'm not here to tell you um, what is right and what is wrong. Just to read the energy. So, but if you still need more clarity, um, Capricorn, make sure you do check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. Okay, oh. okay. that just fell. Let's see. So the H, H fell out. But these give me initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates. 
Take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate though, it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading. So we got H, E, S, B, F, Q, and the number two. You also got 22 for the blessed card. Okay, Capricorn, so I hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and light.